Hello guys, my name is Doug with obdgenie.com. Today we're in the late model 2015 plus uh, Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger. This also works in the Chrysler 300. Um, basically what I'm going to show you today is this exciting new product that we have released. It's by OBD Genie. And what we do is we can program your RA3 or RA4 radio, your 8 inch infotainment touchscreen radio for the performance pages feature. Today we're in a 2016 Challenger as our uh, featuring in our demo video. Um, in this particular vehicle we have the RA4. Uh, we know that because it has navigation. Also in the FM mode it has HD radio. That makes us, that makes us aware that this is the RA4 radio. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to upgrade to the performance pages feature. The first step we're going to want to do is plug in the OBD Genie device into the OBD2 port just beneath your steering wheel. Okay. You'll notice when the programming is complete, your EVIC speedometer cluster will reset, and also your OBD Genie light will turn green. That allows you, that notifies you to, it's okay that you can remove the Genie. Now you'll notice on your EVIC, your speedometer cluster, if you scroll down to option number three, that'll give you all of the performance pages available right here in your center cluster. So as you scroll to the right, you can now utilize all those features right in front of you. You also may notice the temperature gauge went up. That's totally normal. Um, once you drive the vehicle for a few minutes and the airflow goes through the radiator, the sensor up there will change the outside temperature to the correct temperature. Now that we've run the Genie, we want to make sure that it, the programming took on the screen. We know it took on the EVIC, the speedometer cluster, now we want to check out the screen. So press the Uconnect Apps button, App Manager, go to All Apps, and see if it's available. In this case, it's not, which is totally normal. So what we want to do is create or perform a factory reset to the system so when it reboots itself, it'll take that data from the engine computer and, and display it on the screen. Now this is the 2016 model uh, radio. You will notice if you have a 2015 vehicle, this little Uconnect apps button will be over here. The 2016 is here. So let's go ahead and perform the factory reset. You're gonna wanna do that by pressing and holding the driver's side temp up and temp down buttons simultaneously. That's now going to bring us to the engineering menu. You don't really want to fool around too much in this menu, but you do want to scroll down and go to reset to factory default. Select yes and allow it to reset. It takes up to 60 seconds for that to happen. Now that the system has reset itself back to factory defaults, we want to go back into the Uconnect apps and see if performance pages is available. Um, it's not available quite yet, so what we're going to want to do is shut the vehicle off, open your door, and allow it to sleep. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the key to the vehicle, I'm going to exit the vehicle, lock it, and let it sleep. I'm gonna let it sleep for 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back in and try it again. If the performance pages uh, icon isn't within the all apps section, 
then I'm going to want to perform that again. Sometimes it takes three or four times, so be patient. It will eventually show up in the radio. The radio infotainment system needs to get that data from the vehicle's computer, and a lot of times it just takes a little bit um, for it to get it. Now I'm back in the vehicle. I've let it sleep a couple of times. So now it shows performance pages. Now it does take a couple minutes for it to load each time you start up the vehicle. Select the icon. Since we are in a Challenger, you will see the Challenger vehicle here. If you're in the 300 or the Charger, you'll also see the, the corresponding picture there. But you'll notice this all works now. Another thing cool about the 2016 model radios is if you press the Uconnect apps button, you can actually drag and drop that into your home screen. So if you want to access it a little bit faster, you can just hit performance pages down there, which is pretty neat. Um, now the 2015 model radios, which um, I'll demonstrate next, is basically the same procedure. You press the Uconnect apps button. You don't have to press Uconnect apps manager. Um, it'll take you to the other screen. So I'm just going to demonstrate in a 2015 how that menu looks right now. We're now on the 2015 model. Uh, you'll notice the Uconnect Apps button is on the right side. So all you want to do is select that, go to All Apps, and you'll notice Performance Pages shows up there. So it is loading. You've got to give it a couple seconds to load. This operates the exact same way as the 2016 model. It's just the interface is a little bit different on how to access it. So you can now select performance pages. What I typically do is I'll star it so it shows up in your favorite apps. It's a little bit faster to get to it. But select performance pages. Now you'll notice the performance pages shows up. So let's get this thing on the road and try it out. So the home icon just shows you the particular vehicle you're in. If you're in the Grand Cherokee, the Durango, you'll obviously see pictures of that vehicle appear here. And you can scroll through to different, different ones. Uh, the second icon here is timers. It'll actually give you the current zero to 60 time, your um, quarter mile, eighth of a mile, braking distance. You can set the um, times as your best, your last, um, or obviously current. Gauges one will give you real time gauge data from your engine. The gauges two will give you more uh, gauges. G force, which I'll demonstrate shortly, will give you real time g-force and the engine also gives you real-time horsepower torque what gear you're in and uh, your PSI and obviously your miles per hour so let's take it on the road and demonstrate all right our first demonstration will be the timers so we're gonna go 0 to 60 um, due to weather conditions I'm not gonna step on it too hard but I'll show you at least how it works Nine point two seconds isn't that great, but it at least demonstrates how it works. 
The next one I'm going to show you here is G-Force. This gives you real-time uh, G-Force data. Also gives you your steering angle. As you turn your wheel, you'll notice the angle will change. And it also gives you the miles per hour. So as you're driving, it'll show you real-time the performance of the vehicle. The last thing I'm going to show you is real-time engine data under the engine tab. So that completes the end of our demonstration. As you can see, everything works out pretty well with just quick programming. This also works in the Charger 300, Grand Cherokee, Durango, uh, the new bodies um, with the eight inch screen. It works really well. It's an awesome, awesome tool to have. Go to obdgenie.com to order your Genie to turn that feature on in your vehicle. Thanks for watching.